Another piece of periodic maintenance for your home is going to be taking care of grout caulking at the backsplashes where you have tile junctions. One of the most common places is going to be here in your master bathroom at the master bathroom sink and countertop. The grout caulking that's right there is a caulking product, but it has grout mixed in with it, so it has some flexibility. As your home goes through its natural periods of movement, expansion, and contraction, that location is an area where you might begin to see some hairline cracking. So the best and easiest way to do it is go to your local home improvement store, grab some grout caulking from the tile department that matches this color. You can find the color in your homeowner paperwork, or you can get a hold of us at our customer service line to help you locate the correct color. But go grab that at your Home Depot, grab some razor knives and a couple of rags, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the existing grout caulking all the way out with a razor blade, clean that off with some gentle cleaner, and then you're going to reapply this grout caulking to that location, wipe it down with a smooth rag, and you'll be good to go. So anywhere that you have this kind of phenomenon where you see some movement in the home that causes grout cracking, you wanna use this process in this system. One other location that's not at your sinks and countertops that you're gonna have some responsibility for grout caulking is here in your shower, and it's where your tile walls meet your fiberglass shower pan. There's a grout caulking bead all the way around there, and that will move with time and will be something you'll need to maintain. One critical point of difference, however, is right at the bottom of your shower pan, there's two small divots on each end. In this case, it's right here on this end and right here. Those are called weep holes. And what those do is they allow any moisture that absorbs through the grout to the front of the waterproof barrier to run down and drain out those channels. So when you're re-caulking that area, we wanna make sure that you don't caulk or seal in those weep hole divots. We wanna leave those open so that the shower waterproof membranes can function as they're intended to.